Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Fu, and today, well, I think today I want to actually start setting my sights towards the first cave. I want to start moving a little bit further on the progression for the island. So right now I'm just kind of going around, uh, gathering up stuff, making some more narcotics, and also we need to start setting our sights on making some bug repellent as well, because bug repellent, I mean, it's, it, it's, it helps when you're in some of these caves. I mean, sometimes it doesn't really help, sometimes it does, and yeah, so, uh, and apparently it takes uh, lemon, the lemons I can understand, the narcotic, not too sure I understand why they have that. The rock carrots, I really have no clue why they have that on there. Uh, I mean, maybe they just, I don't know, bugs just don't like carrots in their stew. I'm thinking that's pretty much what it is. I mean, I love carrots in stew. So, I mean, I don't know what these bugs are thinking, but all right. So, um, let's see. Let's get, uh, I've been trying to look around, see where we've got all of our fur. And I think we only have a little bit and I, um, just made this up. Let's put all this in here and then let's make up some shotgun shells, which we're not going to have. Oh, wrong button. Uh, we're not going to have a total a huge amount but we've got a little bit and that's that's what's important right because we did get now where did i leave that shot Is it over here oh my gosh where did i leave i just had it <laughs> oh my gosh all right you know i would lose my head if it wasn't attached some days i don't even think that's attached because some days i lose that as well um did i leave it out here on, what, on the bird is that where it is no, did I leave it over on red? Which red, you might be getting a name change here. I totally did. All right. Yeah, we left it on red. I knew that was there all along. <laughs> all right. So that happened. You run. Oh, it's just over raptor. They'll run from anything. Even their shadows some days. All right. So let's take, uh, let's see how much. They're 33. That's all we got. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so um, now we need to, you know what? Let's head over to the frozen biome, over to the snow, and we will go see if we can go get some wool and fur and maybe some human hair. I have no clue how that would um, work out, but you know what? It's kind of so crazy, it just might make sense. And today is, I think we're gonna give Seth a really big workout because um, Seth, for dinos on the island, the dinos that you can actually tame here, Seth, the Baryonyx, he's absolutely hands down the best. Um, for dinos you could tame on the island. Let's not get people in the comments going, but a Dino Nikus! You can't tame a Dino Nikus on the island. Get over it. All right, so <laughs> let's get over here and uh, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can kill like some sort of something somethings to take his something something and then maybe, you know, give him a haircut in the process. I think this is, yeah, this just might uh, work out really well. Also, another thing that we're doing, or that uh, now that I'm uh, setting forward to making... Oh, whoop, I need to equip this stuff. Now that we're making uh, bug repellent, we can actually start taming Pachyrhinosauruses. And Pachyrhinosauruses are kind of handy if you want to uh, lure things from one place to another. There we go. I wonder how much of mining is this. I need to start setting my sights on chainsaws, even though I don't have a way to get a chainsaw. Hey, you stole my pelt! I'll take yours. Thank you! Hey, mine! Get your own, bird! Alright. And, of course, the UDs are out in force. Oh, wow. Almost dead UD. Oh, totally dead UD. Hey! Alright, so did the Carnos just eat that UD? Was that, like, rival gangs there? Is that what was going on? That was kind of weird. Oh, uh, hey, wolfies. Yeah, that's right, Foo. You tell them. Wow. 
wolves are so great for pelt. They just drop it all over the place. Like you smack a wolf in the face and it drops pelt. Alright, let's see. How much do we have now? 130. Not enough. Got the lungs, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, you got a level, dude! Awesome! 790. You know what? This Super Dodo is absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, I've had some good Super Dodos in my time. But this guy is absolutely, hands down, the best Super Dodo I think I've ever had. The stats on this guy are phenomenal. Hello. I'm looking for one of you guys. 110. Not bad. Five. Really bad. Oh, you harvested your buddy, man. How cruel is that? Come on, dude. Hey, get over here. Hey, you don't smack me. You see that he butt smacked Super Dodo. Most uncool, dude. Oh, 49 puff from that guy. Okay, so that guy actually had quite a bit. Not bad. Alright, there's birds, there's mammoths, pooped. Alright, where's wolves? They give me the best bang for my buck. Ah, I see you! <laughs> oh, hello. Mr. Wolves, have you ever been deer smacked? I didn't think so either, but hey! Gear smack time! Thank you, Foo. Oh, there's the, his buddy was right there. All right, let's see, how much do we have? Uh, 72 more? And this stuff is heavy. So, yeah, 250. Uh, that should kind of do it. It takes six per. So, yeah, you know, let's go with 250. All right. Let's get our butt back to base. And then go uh, craft up a bunch of this stuff. Because it just makes it easier to go inside the caves. It really does. Are you bloody or are you just a funky looking one? Here's the funky looking one. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna take you out. Okay, we got 60 more. All right. All right, let's get our butt inside of here. Let's see. Um, Grab some. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let's just grab. Let's see how much we can make. Okay, so we got that. Let's also get the carrots. And narcotics, which we've got a whole bunch in. Alright, so... Sure, this one's empty. So all that in there, that and that, and we need to get this going because of those vegetables. They spoil wicked fat. Alright, 37. Okay, cool. So that'll top us off for a good long while. And uh, this stuff is actually the kill... Um, oh, the bug repellent is actually the kibble for the Paki Rhinosaurus. So, if you're crafting this stuff, just make up a little extra in case you see a good one of those. Because those guys are actually really good. And I think we might um, tame one of those here in the next few days. Alright, I wonder how much this thing hits for. How old are you? Oh, dude! Get back here! 83! Not bad. Alright. Oh, wrong button. Ha 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 ha. All right. Yeah, 83 is not too bad. Especially when it's six pellets coming at him. How are we looking at on this? Oh, wrong one. Oh, hey, you're done. Oh, we've got some more pelt and hair in here. Oh, yay, doy. All right, <laughs> let's see. Up here. Yeah, that wasn't what we were lacking. Um, I think it's the vegetables we're lacking. All right. All right, so we've got these in here. Let's just eat those. All right, um, 
Narcotics. Uh, 37 of these. Not too bad at all. Let's throw this inside of here. Uh, you're still crafting up? Yeah, I decided to make some more shotgun shells because, face it, the amount I had just wasn't enough. Because when you need him, you fly through him. And, yeah, I'm going to have to start getting some more wood burning as well. Alright, so... Weapons. Ammo. I hate that it takes more black powder for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It takes black powder for the little balls, and then it takes black powder for the other ones. Oh, wait, hold on. We also have the pistol. Where is that one pistol we looted a long time ago? It's somewhere around here. Oh, well. Anyway, also, um, a couple things on the shopping list. That when you're starting to go into the caves, um, take uh, either some cloth armor, really good cloth armor, or hide armor. And you don't want anything else. Um, if you're going in on foot, uh, you can take in a couple suits of really good uh, chitin or uh, um, co oh, composite armor or the uh, the flak armor. But uh, that stuff right there, it requires a smithy to repair it. So, um, yeah, if you're going to take uh, oh, flak armor, take several suits because the stuff breaks. But if you're just going to take uh, um, hide armor, then uh, all you need to do is uh, take in a stack of uh, fiber and a stack of hide. That's really it. Um, but make sure when you're make when you're equipping your uh, armor that you go with uh, the entire uh, you know shirt as well because uh, this just makes me. I mean, I, I get they're leather pants, but it makes it look like you know you're got them hiked way up. So. Yeah, don't, don't, I mean, fashion, uh, fashion does matter, right? I'm just saying. All right, so if you're going to go with the suit of hide, go with the suit of hide. But just also know that some of these caves are really, really hot. So cloth is actually a little bit better in some of them. Uh, some of them are really cold. So hide is really good in it. So yeah, all right. So we've got more shotgun shells. And now I think we are ready to go. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's pick up Seth, put him in our pocket, take Super Dodo down, because we're going to hit up probably the easiest one first. Um, and this guy's got just a whole bunch of levels from chilling out. All right, I will meet you down the first one. And of course, this area is active as usual. All right, let's get down here. Now, the first cave I want to do is uh, actually the easiest one. Um, and now, none of the caves are like super, super easy. I mean, this one's actually a lot easier than the others, but... If you go in just going, oh, yeah, we're just going to um, go knock out this cave and, yeah, no problem. I mean, always know that sometimes bad stuff can happen. But this one is actually pretty easy. And we've already been to this one. It's uh, right down here on the map. Way down here. Right, now, I already have a little shack here that has a bed in it. Um, I might eventually get a... Uh, Get a um, storage box in here because storage boxes are actually kind of helpful. So that way there, um, you can... That way there, you can get your... Uh... Oh, get a whole bunch of artifacts and then not have to t um, totally worry about it. All right, so let's get inside here. And I might gamma it just a little bit. Um, I, I prefer... That we do it like this because not everybody can use gamma. So if you go in, then you're just using gamma, then you're like, oh, okay, well, hey, we'll just use gamma. Well, not everybody can do that. All right, lots of servers just will not allow gamma. All right, so. Oh, you gained a level on the way here? Okay. All right. And I just took his health up to 7,000 and then uh, um, took up uh, his melee damage from there. Now, let's see. So. Get that. And I don't want uh, the Desert Cloth Gloves equipped or the uh, um, um, Gilly uh, suit because I can't repair that easily on the fly. And, of course, Bob Noglin is riding um, shotgun here. All right, Bob. All right, so we come in here. I'm just going to eat one of these. It's not a super uh, big deal if uh, the Baryonyx doesn't have one. It's just I don't want the Arthopleura targeting me. I'm down in here. Have to be careful because there can be uh, little crawly dudes on the ceiling that jump down at you and give you rabies. It's lovely. 
wonderful feeling when that happened. But yeah, um, one of the main reasons why... One of the main reasons... Why I, um, I insist on repairing my armor in here is because Arthapurus will trash it. That's Megalosaurus. That's the same Megalosaurus that was here last time. All right, Foo. Let's get him. That's a 140 Megalosaurus. Now, if we were on a different map, that guy would be extremely valuable. Not so much on this map. He's not going to wake up unless he does. Well, what time of day is it? Because at nighttime he'll wake up and he'll terrorize all the locals. Okay, it's uh, three in the afternoon. Yeah, we're, we should. Oh. Really? Really? I didn't spit on you from up here. Why are you spitting on me from down there? Huh? I see how it is. All right, let's go around this way. I want to get this little bit of loot. But yeah, he's just going to be sleeping. Just taking a little nap. Oh, hey, Equisaddle. That's not bad. All right. Peace out, dude. Have fun, man. Come down this way. Yeah? I really need to get Seth a mate so I can imprint one. Imprinted Baryonyxes are amazing. Gotta keep an eye out for more Megalosauruses. And also, sometimes you can find uh, loot down inside here. But there's also Sarkos down in there, so be careful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Hey, dude. Come on. Hey, you're getting encumbered. Really? Dude, why are you biting my butt, man? Get him, foo. I saw that. You jumped out of the ceiling, man. Uh, drop all this. None of this raw meat's doing him any good whatsoever. Right. Who's hissing at me? Come out, show yourself. Oh, he's in the wall. Hello. Come on. All right, I hear you guys, but I don't see you guys. Oh, there you are. So you can sneak up on me? Well, you were right. I know this spot can be kind of tricky uh, going in here, because there could be a lot of Arthopleurus in here, and then if there's a whole bunch of them, They'll just make you have a really bad day, especially when they hit you, because they hit you on the back and beat the crap out of you. And it's not nearly as fun as you would think. Like that. And always, always, always when you're caving, if you see an Arthoplura, kill it first.
Doesn't matter what's beating up on you. Heal that Arthoclura. As soon as you can. Let me take that. Thank you. You were the one that spit on me, weren't you? Yeah, that's actually... If we were to jump down that one bit, it'll just put us right down here. It puts us really close to the artifact. Right here is the artifact area, but you don't just want to go jump running in there because there can be bad stuff. There's snakes in there. In the wall somewhere. I hear you! Come on out! I'm not scared of you! That's what I'm gonna tell you, but then... You know what? I'm gonna go the other side. The, there is another side. To this. You can just go around this way. Where it doesn't have snakes in the wall. At least not yet. has scorpions on the floor. That's a noticeable improvement, really. Now I always wonder about places like that. It looks like they were originally intending on putting in a spot and then never got around to it. All right, let's see. I knew it! Dude. Thank you. See that guy jumping down from the ceiling? All right. All right, there's snakes in the wall on this one, too. see in there. Can't go through there. You know what? We can do this. Wall snakes always mess with me. All right, let's just do it. All right. Artifact of the hunter. Not bad. All right, suck it, wall snakes. I got it anyway. All right? See, they were just there to scare me off. And then also, this thing goes around quite a bit. Um, you can go over that way, which also involves, uh, aggroing the sarcos that are in there, or you can just go around up this way. But yeah, uh, see the difference of, uh, when we first came in here, and I was <laughs> kind of fighting for every inch of it, and then now how much easier it is? Uh, it's the bug repellent and the... It's the bug repellent and the baryonyx that have changed it so much. The baryonyx puts you up high above. So it makes it hard for the Arthoplura to get here. Also, the bug repellent means that the Arthoplura are going to target, for the most part, the baryonyx and not target me. There's 
getting a ton of levels this one. See, right there. Hit my boots. All right, all right. See, let's repair that. Oh wow, you get, you're getting beat up, man, but you're doing great, dude. Go. Oh. Probably gonna have to heal you. That's also why we have all the fish. Uh, Baryonyx regenerate when they have fish. A lot faster than normal dinos. I've already grabbed that one. All right, let's go down. Actually, let's go with this far side. See if there's any loot over here. Sometimes the... Oh, lovely. Don't spit on me. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Being all tricky, huh? Yeah, and you too. And you as well. See, that's how they get you. Yeah, also, there is a ton of metal in here. Okay. All right. Wrong button. And see, here's the other side of that. Really? You were having a good moment there, and you had to stop and go poop. Yeah, I'm not seeing much loot in here. Good job, Foo. You're a little late there, man. Alright, here's the opposite side, but there's no loot in here. It was just that one green drop. Oh, hey, but we got this. Good job, dude. Oh, hello. Now let's get up this way. Get that one as well. Yep. Oh, man. I hate it when they're up high like that. They can... Yep, right there. Alright, come on. Alright. Alright, uh, and of course now I'm naked. Sorry, don't look. Take some more of this. Wow, you're getting your butt... Um, B. But you're also getting a ton of levels, which is good. Alright, there we go. Oh. And of course... But yeah, also, if you want a ton of chitin, this place right here... And also, there's a couple other caves as well. That can give you a ton of chitin, but um, they're really good, um, big gold mines for chitin. And then when you come back out here, uh, this right here is actually the entrance. Um, you can either go that way over to the Megalosaurus, or we can come up this way and, and this will take us right back out. And this is all crystal in here too. You can harvest this stuff for crystal. So if you need crystal early game, come right in here. It's pretty good.
All right, so let's pop up here. And there's Super Dodo. Hey, buddy. Are you hanging out with the Packies? Yeah. Yeah, I know. They're Packies. They don't have a really big sense of humor. It's okay. All right, so hey, that's how you get the art the uh, artifact of the hunter. Uh, that's our first cave. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start moving towards uh, getting uh, the artifacts for everything now. Normally, when I get into uh, farming mode of the bosses, I'll take a uh, a storage box, put it right here, and I'll go run through uh, the cave so many times because now that we've got that area cleared, it's cleared for a good half hour. We can just run in, grab the artifact, run back out. And the artifact respawns probably. The artifact um, respawns, uh, I believe it's every five minutes. Yeah, it, it's, it doesn't take long for it. So, yeah. All right. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flickr Foo, And take it easy, everybody. Yeah, I hope you didn't mind the torch.